Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and in this video I'll be talking about how you can uh, place uh, any type of order whether it is a buy order, sell or any pending order um, so let's start for <clears throat> to place an order you need some uh, variables um, the first variable we are going to um, create is um, double lot equals 0 0.01 or whatever <coughs> whatever the lot size you wanted to set for your trade <coughs> the next thing is the take profit value in pips that will be 40 pips and the next variable is stop loss let's set it equals to 40 pips and the next variable we are going to create is called magic and let's set it uh, <coughs> to a random variable <coughs> so now we have declared um, four variables uh, the first one is lots that will be uh, your uh, your orders lot size the second one is um, take profit value the third one is stop loss and the fourth one is the magic number the magic number uh, is used to differentiate uh, the trades placed by your expert advisor and the trades you place manually and also if you um, are using more than one expert advisors then this is the only uh, <clears throat> thing which can differentiate um, the orders placed by this adver uh, ad uh, ad advisor or uh, the trade were placed by the other advisor so let's compile it um, and also we want these variables to be provided as inputs so we'll write one extra thing with these variables and that's called external external means external variables and they uh, these all variables will be now provided as um, as an external uh, input for the user so that he can input uh, the numbers by his own let's compare and see whether uh, what we get let's remove the uh, expert advisor first and attach it again expert advisors my expert and as you can see now in inputs we have four variables um, the values are um, are those values which uh, we have written here in the code and <clears throat> when um, you attach your expert advisor to the chart you can change these values but the default values will be remain uh, whatever you will um, put inside the code so now let's um, let's talk about the order send function which will um, place um, any order for us I have already written that function below there and I'm going to explain it to you I have written a, a function with um, void return type as this function won't be return anything and I call this function open cell because it will be placing um, a cell order the function <coughs> is a predefined function which is already built in MQL4 programming language and it takes a lot of parameters the first parameter it takes the symbol the symbol is um, actually uh, another built-in function which returns the the chart name the euro dollar in this case um, 
because this expert is attached to this chart so this particular function will uh, return this the euro dollar string and that will be um, used as um, argument to this function because uh, for placing at you need all these arguments okay if you will miss one the order would not be going to placed the second um, argument it takes the type of order you are going to place as we are going to place the cell order we we have written op underscore cell if we wanted to place a buy order we will write op underscore underscore buy and if we wanted to place a pending order we will continue um, with buy stop buy limit sell stop or sell limit uh, for this particular example we are going to place a sell uh, trade so i'll use op underscore sell the third argument it takes <coughs> is the number of lots as we have specified this variable above here and set it equal to some value so we are passing this uh, variable to the function so that um, this function will place the trade of this uh, much number of volume the next variable it takes as an argument is the price at which you are going to place that um, that particular order for a sell trade uh, we'll use the bid price as this is the price at which our sell trade will be placed so we have used that bid a predefined function which returns the bid price of the currency pair at the very moment um, when this uh, function will be executed if um, we were about to place a buy trade we have um, we have used the ask price rather than bid and if um if we wanted to place um any pending order we have specified the price right here like if we wanted to place um a pending order uh, a pending buy stop or sell stop or whatever we have written this uh, the particular value at which we uh, wanted to place that um, particular pending order the next <coughs> The next well, the next argument is called the slippage. The slippage is the difference in pips um, when placing the trade. So, if we have, uh, if the bid price currently is 1.3357, uh, 1 for example, the order can be placed at 1.3358, 57, or 56. So, the slippage, is, the slippage is three pips so that um, if market price if the code price changes um, we um, we should not lose that trade but we should place it with a slippage of three pips the next argument it takes the stop loss <coughs> as we have written the stop loss uh, in an integer value above here we must convert it um, to a price um, to a price at which we want to um, want this trade to be stopped when um, it gets in loss for example if we want if uh, we are going to place um, a sell trade right here and we um, set a stop loss um, price above here it, it should be the price should be in like 1.3388 it should be it should not be like 40 40 is not understandable by this thing so we must convert it um, to a price um, which can be understand by this um, particular chart okay so what we did here we added <coughs> we added 40 multiply the point point is the number of decimal uh, places and the number 
um, which returns uh, the number which is returned by the point is actually in this case is 0 0.001 so 0 0.001 multiplied by 40 becomes 0 0.0040 <clears throat> and when we add the bid price um, this number into a bid price it becomes somewhere above here okay somewhere right here and it returns us the stop loss price okay so this stop loss price we pass as an argument to set the stop loss for this particular trade the next argument it takes is the take profit um, price we, we um, does the same thing with this take profit as the take profit um, number is written in, uh, in an integer value and we must convert it to the number which can be understand by, understood by the uh, the expert advisor so that it can set that value so we have multiplied um, that number that integer number to the point value and we have um, subtract this number from the bid price to get or take profit price so that we can set that for this particular trade the next thing is the comment the comment can be um, uh, any comment you want you to uh, write for that particular trade you can also uh, place uh, some comment like uh, this trade was placed by my expert so you will know that uh, this particular trade was placed by this uh, particular expert advisor okay if you don't want any comment you can always set it to null which represents nothing so there will be no comment in the um, for the trade the next thing is the magic number we have uh, written above here and I is as I have already told you about that it is uh, only to differentiate trades from uh, the trades which are placed manually or which are placed by other expert advisors so that we can only uh, s um, stick to the trades placed by, so placed by only this particular expert advisor and the last argument it takes the color of the arrow um, which will be drawn on the chart when placing this trade for example the trade is placed right here so it will draw an arrow um, with the specified color we uh, put in here when writing colors you should um, you should um, capi capitalize the first letter of the color and make sure it turns this um, light blue type color so that you know that your um, color is written right for example i write white so capital w and white if i want you to write red that's how we write if you write red in um, lowercase letters it will not understand um, what is this and it will it will return you error of not recognize this particular thing so you must write like that okay if you don't want to set any um, stop stop loss or take profit value you can remove this thing and you can write null in here so this trade won't be having any um, stop loss value and same can be done with the take profit value okay but for this tutorial we will, we will be uh, using the stop loss value okay so this is all um, this function will place a trade for you whenever this function will be called and this trade will this trade will be having a 40 pips stop loss and 40 pips um, take profit value with the lot size equals 0 0.01
so <clears throat> let's call this function from the init function because um, for this uh, particular video we will be uh, just testing whether it will place a trade for us or not so we want the, the trade automatically placed uh, when this chart is attached to the chart so what we will do we will uh, call the open cell function um, from um, this uh, particular init function as this pro this function will be executed as soon as we'll attach uh, our expert advisor to the chart and when it um, it will be um, uh, it will start executing the code it will come right here and it will um, call that particular function and when it will call that particular function it will uh, the control will pass inside the body of this particular function and it will execute this piece of a code this um, this particular built-in um, function and what this function will do this function will place a cell trade for you so let's test it and see whether it works or not compile it and see whether we get any errors no errors so right here as we compile the trade the expert advisor was attached to the chart because whenever you compile the expert advisor automatically attached um, gets attached to the chart okay so as soon as we compile the chart it um, it placed a cell trade right here with the lot size 0.01 symbol your US dollar as this symbol is your US dollar and the SL and TP values are the 40 40 bips okay and that's how um, we place um, market orders and you can also uh, try to place um, buy trades or any pending trades as much as uh, as you like whatever you like so I want I want you to make a function like this and that should open a buy trade for you and do whatever I have told you uh, to change the values uh, from this uh, particular function to place a buy trade and that's your um, that's your test let's say okay this is all for the tutorial now you know how to place um, trades using expert advisors uh, in next couple of videos uh, maybe we'll talk about some indicators and we'll place trades based on some conditions okay thank you for watching my tutorial see you in next tutorial